Hey there everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. So in our interview preparation series, I assigned you with some questions. Now we are discussing the solution to those questions. We have already discussed the solution to the first question. Now we can move on to the second one. Here's the problem statement. So the problem statement is given a non-empty array of decimal digits representing a non-negative integer, increment one to the integer. So basically if you are given the digits as one comma two comma three, that means we are given a number 123, 123. Now we have to increment this by 1. So we have to return 124. And we have to return in a similar way. We have to return it in a form of a array. And we have to return it as 1, 2, 4. Again here, 4,321. If we increment 1 to this, we will get 4,322. But we have to return them as an array of digits. 4, 3, 2 and 2. Similarly here for 0, we have to return 1. I hope the problem statement is clear. Now what you can do is you can create another array as the answer array and then try to make changes to that. But I want you guys to solve this question without using any extra space. So basically you, are, uh, you cannot use any extra space. You only have to make changes to the given vector D. Okay, You have to only make changes to the given vector. Alright, so whenever uh, we read a new question and we have no hint how to solve this, we take examples. So similarly, I'm taking examples here. So the first number was 1, 2 and 3, 123. And I was asked to make, I was asked to increment this 123 by 1. So I got 124 and I returned it as 1, 2, 4. So many of you would think that we can first convert the uh, given array into integer. How we can do this? 3 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 0, 2 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 1, 1 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 2 and add them together. We will get the 123 as a the number, then we can increment 1 and we can keep dividing it by 10. So we will get 4, 2 and 1. This is one of the way, but then it might be possible that the given error is so huge and you won't be able to accommodate everything into an integer integer which is 32-bit uh, in C++ or even in long long you won't be able to accommodate it. So this is a wrong strategy. This won't give you correct answer for very long numbers. So forget about this one. The other approach is you can directly go to the last number and then increment 1 and just change the last number. So 3 will become 4. But where is it going to fail? It will fail when the last digit is 9. So let's say you have something like this, 1, 9. So in this case, what is going to happen? You will try to add 1 to this, but you cannot make it 10 and 1. You will have to carry forward 1 here. So you will get, if you add 1 to this, you will get 0 at this position and 2 at this position. Basically, 1 is carried and 1 plus 1 is 2. So 2 at this position. This is what you have to return, right? So you have to handle this case. So in this case, what we can do is we can start traversing from the end again. So as you are doing it here, we got the first number as the first number is not equal to nine. That is why we can just directly increment one to this and then return. So if the first number from the back is nine, we will go to the second number and there we can increment one. So here we will get two and in place of nine, I will only take zero. Again, I'm taking another example. Let's say I have 149 in this case. Let me take one more 9 here. So in this case, this is 9. So just make 0 at this position. This is also 9. Again, make 0 at this position. This is not equal to 9. This is 4. So just make 5 at this position. Increment it by 1. And copy the same digit here. This is the final answer. So what are we doing here? We are trying to traverse from the right hand side. We will go to each of these elements and we will see. If that element is equal to 9, we have to write 0 at its place. And as soon as we come to a number which is not equal to 9, we can just increment it by 1 and then return the answer. Okay. I hope it is clear. Let me just code this and we will see few more changes a bit later. Let me just code whatever we have discussed. So we are about to go to each of the numbers starting from the end, from the right side. So d dot size minus 1. I greater than equal to 0. I minus minus. If d of i 
is smaller than 9 then what we can do we can just increment at this ith position so d of i plus plus and simply return d done so as soon as we come to a number which is not equal to 9 which is smaller than 9 we can just increment that number and then return d for example here we came to 4 we incremented 4 to 5 and then return the answer but when the numbers were 9 we have to write a 0 at its place so otherwise if the number is equal to 9 this is the else condition then d of i is equal to 0 okay so let me just try to run this on the given examples alright we have to return something at the end also so we can just return d otherwise the lead code won't accept your solution if you don't return something at the end so we are just returning d forget about this last return statement this is just to complete the syntax as of now just focus on what we have written in the for loop so we are getting correct answer for this test case let me try to change the test case a bit so we can add two nines here and now let us try to run this so the two nines should become zero and the last three should become four so the two nine became zero and the last three this one the first number from the right hand side which is not equal to nine became four alright so this strategy is working but there is another case here so let us say the number which is given to me is 999 nine, nine, and then we will start traversing from the right hand side we will never strike a number which is not equal to 9 so what we have to do in that case we will keep replacing these 9's with 0 but at the end we don't have any number which is smaller than 9 so in that case I will have to add 1 at the beginning so if you want to do this change what you will have to do is you have to make another vector which will be of size n plus 1 and that will take extra space and extra time so we don't want to do that so for those who already know what vectors are how they are implemented in C++ they would know that it takes only big O of one time if we insert something at the back of the vector if you don't know about vectors you can watch the video I think the video is in the uh, first four or five videos in the playlist you can just search it will be in the beginning I think it is the second video of the playlist you can just check it out alright so coming back to this what I can do is instead of putting one at the beginning I will put a zero at the end alright and I will replace this one this zero by one how am I going to do this so if I never reached a digit which is smaller than nine so this condition is never going to strike and every time we will end up in the else condition okay and we will make all the elements of the digit as zero so finally we will exit out of the loop because we are never returning so here what I can do is I can insert something d dot pushback 0 at the end of d and we can replace the first element of d with 1 d of 0 equal to 1 and then return d now let us try to submit this one and it got accepted so I hope this solution is clear to everyone we are not using any extra space here and we are using only big O of n time this is the time complexity of the solution and is the size of this vector d alright so if you like the video make sure to hit that like button and do subscribe to the channel if you want more such content in future thanks a lot guys